everyone. This is our first alien base mission. It is a an alien outpost at the smallest type. It doesn't really matter when you arrive as it's always a night mission because you're underground so All right, so pretty much all alien bases are two-way affairs, so we're going to put four guys at this door, and there doesn't seem to be a second door here, so for now we're, gonna, we're all going to go this way, and then we'll see where we branch off, so let's see, finish here. Prebo here, and let's put our rifles to the side so that Franconian can also join the front row, like so. <coughs> Let me just make sure that it seems. Alright, it seems this is the only way. Alright. And I'm just again gonna cut down on the music because the nighttime music is slightly too loud, I think. Okay, here we go. Just to make sh sure. Yeah, alright. Okay, so let's see what's out there. So this door is blocked, so we can safely deploy here. Let's see if there's anyone in the corridors first. Franconia, check this side please. Alright, so let's put Horaces here. I may destroy this door, but I also may not, depending on what's uh, what's ahead. So let's bring finish up as well. And Franconian. And the rest of the guys can just stand back. Oh wait, this isn't a door. Uh, well, I think there's room for one more here. I don't want to put anyone here, but I think it's safe to be here. I mean, it's all cover from this direction. But I'd really like the shield to take the heat, if at all possible. So let's bring Jaycan here as well. So. Uh, crouch. And the rest of the guys will wait in our starting room. So there are two ways to win. One is the classic kill everything. And the second one is destroying the reactor and then pulling back. That will cause the outpost to disappear, but you don't get any loot from it. So until we confirm what we're dealing with exactly, we need to be careful, as there could be Reapers. So, what is it? Well, speak of the devil. Alright, so it can't reaction, so let's just have a look what else is here. Uh -huh, here it is. Alright, so it's safe to come up to it, and let's have Franconi just knock it out. This guy isn't looking at us, good. Bam. Alright, now we can approach... Uh, let's pull back, just in case there's some Reapers over here. Uh, Finish can come here. And Jaycan can come here. 
the guys can approach this position. And you come here, and the sniper moves to here. Like so. Crouch, turn around. This should be alright. Alright, so we are dealing with Reapers. I'm gonna leave this door closed for now. <coughs> this door opened. Alright, let's see if there's more Reapers. That's a shotgun, I think. So, I think it's safe to do this. 89. So still 89, but we need 80 to fire. Crouch is 6. Crouch, fire. Down it goes. Alright, let's have Horaces just take a look over here. Ooh, shit. Um... Well... Uh, I think... I think we'll be okay. Though obviously we will need to turn around at the end. So just first move to here. We, we want to avoid reaction fire. So we first get out of the um, get out of the field of view and then move this way and hopefully to safety. It's pretty close but I don't think it'll be able to attack. Let's get to here and turn around. Franconian should be able to take care of it if it comes after us. And we need her resses to turn around in case the rifle decides to move in. Alright, now I need someone to close the door. I can't have Franconian do it. Uh, let's see who has enough move to get here and get back. Alright, here's what we do. We get the Franconian out of the way, and we have Forgiven. Nah, Forgiven's too slow. Forgiven can move to here, since there's nothing, since there's nothing else over there. And we'll have Llama Horse close the door. So just get out of the way a bit, and you move to the door, close it. This way they, they'll need more move to get to us. And also, we obviously can't be shot if the door is not open. So, just move to the door, I guess. And let's have Exe stand over here as well to provide additional overwatch. Because if that thing, the Reaper, has enough move to reach us and attack, we need to destroy it. J can is fine. Let's see. One, two. Yeah, they're all, they all have a good field of fire here. You're out of move, you're out of move. Forgiven is okay, Lama Horse is okay. Now, I could have Premu also move somewhere else. But even if I do move him, it's unlikely he'll be able to reaction fire. So, I think... How can he be useful next turn? I think it would probably be best if we just move him somewhere over here anyway. Like here. And then next turn, perhaps he'll be able to open fire on something back here. Alright, let's see what happens. Whoa. Well, that was unexpected. 
kind of scary. Um, yeah, burst it down. Okay. Um, that's two. I don't know how many there are, to be honest. So, let's just pretend there's an infinite number of them until proven otherwise. So, we still have this guy to deal with. Um, how do we do that? The problem is, there could be more Reapers inside. Now, he fires twice. So, un unless... Hmm. He won't be able to fire. So, maybe... 49 brings you to here. You need 40 to get to here. And 40 to get back, you won't be able to fire. However, you will be able to throw a flashbang. And we can attempt to deal with it next turn. Though, I'd also... Let's wait for it. Just, um, we need to, we need to reposition. So that... Let's see. That's yeah, fine. We need to move someone away so that we're able to put our shield to a less vulnerable position. So let's put Franconian here and put the shield inside. Again, like so. Just in case it can be actual fire. And um, we need to close the door. Yeah, close the door. It's fine. All right. All right. Now let's wait some more. A lot of movement. So let's see if our friend has decided to do something. Nope. It either pulled back or it's still there. To, I need to think about this. Um, I'm thinking there's at least two more Reapers. That that would somehow make sense to me. I think it's safe to deploy here, though, unlike last time, I'd like to stay on this side, so that if something opens the door, we won't be under fire from this side. I'm thinking maybe I should blow the door, but, eh, let's wait. I really don't know how to proceed right now. I'll... What I'd like to do and what I can do are two different things. Alright, let's have a look. All clear. You open the door. So Franconian can move to here and then also get back, barely. 
it's still here. No, I, I'm not sure what this weapon is. I can't see it because this thing is in the way. Let's see, flashbang. I'd like to flashbang it. Can you? No. Again, the problem is are there more Reapers inside? I mean, I'm pretty sure if we just walked up to it and shot it with the shotgun once, we'd kill it, but. We can get back, right? Yeah. Alright, so let's get back. To here. You close the door and Exe moves to here, move away from the door and bring up the back row. You to crouch so that Finnish and Primo can open fire. And I'd like Haresses to just have a quick look up there looks clear now these are teleporters we haven't seen them yet but this one just jumps to here it's um it's kind of neat but not particularly important so let's close this and just take a couple of steps forward right Out of activity, nothing. All right, Exe opens the door because he has the least move. So we need someone to open the door, and that someone will be J Cam. Right now, I want I want Haresses to throw a flashbang. We can't put this off anymore. I think. Uh, unfortunately, we can't really throw it. Come on. This would be okay if we missed J Can. And of course, J Can can't move because he's under threat of Overwatch. Uh, well, one thing I think is certain, and that is we're not gonna have any Reapers incoming. So I think... I think I'm gonna leave her... Nah, no, wait. I need to think about this. Um, how do I flashbang him? So, a guy here could do it. The problem is, if it doesn't get flashbanged, it will reaction fire. What was I thinking? I have Lord Finish here. He had, yeah, of course, he could do it. Yeah, that's what we do next turn. And let's just put Primo over on this side so he can assist as well. You two crouch. Alright, let's do this. out of the way. Now I want Jaycan to move to this side so that he's not... Ooh, shotgun. Okay. Um, well, I 
think we have a clear line of, line of fire from here, so let's just suppress it. Or maybe just attempt to kill it. Nah, suppress it first. Let's keep it in place. Didn't bring it down, that's fine. You should be able to. Still not suppressed. Kind of odd. We killed it before it went, uh, before it got suppressed, but it's fine. It's better this way, I suppose. So with that done, let's just move over here. Open the door. Ooh, two guys. Now, can you? All right. So where do we put J Can? He he's not visible right now. And I'm thinking blasts in this area should suppress them both. And I think we can pull J-Can back to here someplace from this direction. We need to keep make sure we're also not attacked from this side. And we could well be... Eh. Nah, let's wait. We got one this turn, that's good enough for me. And maybe we can get someone else next turn. I know this is really too cautious, yeah. but you know it's it's just not worth it against reapers to be careless. I mean, the armor can tank a shot, probably, of most alien weapons, but the reaper just doesn't care. Alright, so we need we need to scout this area. So what I'm gonna do, I'm, ju I'm just gonna send Horesses over to say here. That way, this will provide 100% cover toward this direction, and any Reapers coming in from this side won't be able to attack. At least they sh I don't think they should be able to. It's too far. Yeah, this will be fine. And face this way, in case something, in case their uh, ranged unit comes out this way. And I'd like Forgiven to move to here. He's kind of slow, but nah, he won't be able to crouch. He's got a lot of health, though. Nah, you stay here, and Llama Horse moves to here, or here. See, the problem is, I'm pretty sure this, they can run this distance and fire. Here and you move to here. I think we can flashbang. Yeah, I think we can flashbang from here. We just open the door. Yeah, and I think. Unfortunately, he's looking our way. Caresses can flashbang next turn from his safe position up, up there. And I'm not entirely sure I should have put him here. Crouch and do it, or maybe, 
or maybe we can do this instead. Of course, JK needs to get out of the way. And there is really no way for him to get out of the way. Maybe Primo can take an aim shot. Yeah, but we'll also face counter fire. I really want to do this. 82 HP should be enough to survive a single blast, so I'm just gonna crouch in case we do get fire, and I'm gonna throw this. Do it. It didn't reaction fire. That's that's interesting. Did it use all its move or something else? Do you need to get back 32? You can take one shot, but I got a better idea. You move to here. Ah, damn it. Nope, we're done. We'll do. We'll do anything else next turn. Uh, I'm regretting putting caresses here. You know what? It's safe to do this. I'm doing it. Good, good. And now we just get back. Take a shot first, why not? back to around crouch and Premo can attempt to fire twice <coughs> huh, good enough all right with that I think finish can now move up to here close the door get back and Franconi closes this door and gets back get up because we're not gonna fire all right no! damn. shotgun damn it Whew. well I suppose we were kind of fortunate now this is a shotgun and it already fired so I don't think there need we need to do much in the way of tactics. Just get out there and finish it off. Okay, so they can reach and attack, which is unfortunate. Heal up. There we go. Have a look. Alright. Oops. Ah. Actually, since we have these guys out here, there's no more need to hide because they're gonna shoot at him anyway. Now the problem with, with taking damage is that each shot also reduces the effectiveness of the armor, so um, the amount reduced is 25% of the amount absorbed, and since both of them took damage, that means that instead of 45, their armor now blocks for 34. Okay, so let's put Llama Horse next to Horesus. 
cover this area and next turn we start moving closer to the door I think yeah you can get to the door and then get back and llama horse will see inside and do something if necessary forgiven is fine All right, so we we secured the f second room basically, and we already killed five aliens. Or was it six? One, two, six, six aliens, two reapers, and four civilians. All right, let's have a look in here. alien vibe with the eggs and all that all right so this looks safe ish let's quick look all right and let's have a look over this way also safe ish so let's push llama horse slightly forward Alright, so there's the reactor. If we destroy it, mission accomplished, even if all our guys get killed. No need for that, because we're not going to get everyone killed. Alright, so I want... Uh, how, do I, how do I move our... This is also safe-ish, so I'm thinking... I'll put, I think I'll put Primo up, or should I put him down? No, I'll put Primo here and finish or move with Haresis. So finish moves up there, and just to activate this. So we learn its magical powers, and then finish can step just to stay here for now and forgiven can also move uh, well just move it's fine waste to you so that he levels it up it's kind of ridiculous but fine and we have more than enough moves so let's just get out to say here now i don't think there's anything behind here and even if there was i don't think can reach us so I think it's a bigger priority to hide ourselves from that side because there could very well be something behind here so we're taking cover in such a way to be covered this way not this way because there's nothing here and you move to here and Exe can step forward close the door and then pull back here and Primo can stand here. This is fine from all sides. Alright. So, off we go. So when you enter rooms in these compounds, if you suspect there's an, a hostile on one of these sides, move and you have a shield, move from the center to the side. That way, if you're shot from this side, the shield is guaranteed to absorb it. Right, we're clear. So we can stand here now. And over on this side, have a quick look to make sure it's still clear. This room is clear, 
so I think it's safe to stand here. I don't think anything can reach us. So let's bring our guys a bit closer. XZ2 is standing in the back from now on. Here he has already taken enough damage. And since well since it is like it is, I think I'll have Primo take the pistol. are fine, you guys are fine. Right. There's still a lot of hostiles out there, so we do need to be cautious. There we go. Now this guy is using a pistol, so he's very likely to reaction fire. But he's not standing right next to the to the door, which means that if he's suppressed, uh, I can't fire at him, and I probably won't be able to see him if I turn around. But let's turn around anyway. Yeah, I can't see him. All right, so let's throw the flashbang over here. It should be suppressed, uh, but just in case it's not, I'm gonna have Llama Horse close the door and pull back and have the shield tank damage. You should be fine even here, but let's not risk it. And you crouch, this should provide some block. Forgiven moves forward, and finish also moves forward. Alright, that's this side done. Now let's move along over this way. Alright, a quick look. Okay, so it seems we're okay. I think seems to be trying to eat us. A good thing about the Reapers is that they just continually charge, so it's quite possible we killed both of them already. I mean that just that there were just two of them. But again, it's not worth the risk to... Actually, you should be behind. Primo has actually a lot of HP. He'd make a good assault soldier. Alright, so I'm pretty sure the pistol was suppressed. So if we bring, okay, Haresis has no more, um, no more flashbangs. Something to keep in mind. If you move here, and Lama Horse moves here, and you both crouch and you open the door. Yep, here it is, and a burst should suppress it. Or just kill it outright, that's fine by me. And we can't really step back far, but let's try to go as far as we can in case of Reapers. And we'll have Horesis pull back to here. And finish and step here as well. And I want Forgiven over on this side. Like so. Okay, now this way. Let's see what's out there. So we can hear a lot of movement, but we can't actually see anything. Now you need... How much do you need to get back? 17? Can you get back? 5. Whoa. Alright, that's it. I think... I think it's safe. I'm not gonna risk moving forward because I won't be able to get back. So this looks safe to me. I'm just gonna deploy over to the sides. Let's have Primo stand. How much? 75%? Excellent. So let's have Primo stand here. Like so. And 
J-Can over this way and XZ behind him. And turn toward this way in case something comes up. Their reaction fire. All of them. Alright, so now I don't know if you noticed, but there's a room over here. And both of these rooms branch out into two directions. So this room needs to be cleared before we move ahead. Now there's a secret pass passage over here which leads into the room which I may decide to exploit. But for now let's first have a look what's if there's anything in this corridor. Looks alright. So I think it's now safe to stand over here and then next turn we'll move forward. Now I know this is kind of slow but the, the, um, the aliens in a base are usually tougher than those in UFOs when they crash. So usually being careful pays off. Can we get to here? Yeah. Let's just take a step forward. Alright. All this appears to be... Ah. Well, I think it's too far to move up here and to shoot us. So, I th Ah, no. Just get out of its way and turn around and it'll be fine. And let's bring up our guys to get ready to fire. It's not going to expose itself anyway, but... Alright, so we have a hostile here. It'll probably move back into, the, into this room. Again, move from the center over this way. It's still here. Alright, so we can't do anything here. Um, because there's another room here. So these guys will simply have to wait until these guys move forward. So let's have Franconian first. Have a look over in this direction. Nothing here, and Jay can take a look over this way. Looks clear, so I think it's now safe to deploy over here. So this is 45% block, that's completely acceptable. So let's have, how much is this? 45 as well. Alright, I want Franconian here and Exe stays safe here and Primo moves to here and Jcan waits here and you just get back Again, these guys are simply waiting for the other team to move again to move in. So my bet is that this room either connects to this room or this room via teleporters. And before we move in here, I need to make sure we're not gonna get flanked. So let's have a look over here first. All good. And if we just move 
Okay. Um. We could kill it. It's just a pistol. But. Here's how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna close the door. And then Franconian is gonna move a bit closer. Then we're gonna open the door. We're gonna blast it. And then we're gonna hide behind these eggs. Before we do that, how. Yeah, that's how we're doing it. Closer. Open. We do this to avoid reaction fire because, well, it's a pistol. It has a pretty high chance to reaction fire, but when you open or close the door, there is no reaction. Reaction is only if you throw a grenade or attack or move. And down it goes. And let's see, where can we hide? How about here? It should be alright from that side as well. And Franconian has enough health to be able to. To, how about here? Yeah, this should be a good because this is 75% and there's another egg here. We should be fine right, So you close the door and get back to say here Maybe here Or here Here is probably best All right, so you move to here and keep an eye on the door and you move all the way this way and I think it's safe for XZ to move here now, but let's not risk it. So we already checked, yeah? Alright. See, they're all just waiting at the door to flank you. Now, one thing that happened once is um, I used to do what I did in XCOM, and I just congregated at the door and then opened it and moved on. So, this was a fairly effective strategy, until one time I had six soldiers right in front of the door, and, um, well, the AI decided to open the door, throw a grenade at me, and kill all of my soldiers. Well, I think two survived, but, you know, it's uh, it was bad. Alright, so J-Can can keep an eye on this way, and Primo can move over here. And XZ can move. What? But... How did you not see him? Um... Well, get out of here. Seriously, it's lit. It, whatever. This, um... Well, let's get back. Let's, uh, let's not risk getting shot. These kinds of things annoy me, because if the tile isn't visible, it shouldn't really be lit. Alright, let's see. I mean, all of our guys here can survive a shot, except XZ, but it really annoys me. Alright, now let's take another better look this time. Alright, there it is. So, Franconian has a flashbang. But I'm thinking maybe we could use Primo's flashbang for this one. Let's first have a look in here. Alright, all clear. This is probably the command room, to be honest, since it's so deep inside. Alright, so... How can you throw this? This should be good. It won't suppress it. But it will go some way toward doing it. And perhaps XZ can complete the suppression with this thing. Of course, I really don't want to... Or perhaps we could... I mean, I could just throw a flashbang, but I think I'll need a flashbang for inside. 
Alright, let, let, me, let me just check something. Is this the same guy that used to stand here? Nope, this is some other guy. Hmm. Alright. I'd like to pin him in place. And I think... Let's see. I think standing here should provide us cover. 40 and 3 to crouch, perfect. We can fire twice. That should be enough to suppress it or kill it perhaps, because 50% times 3 pellets... And down it goes. Very good. I think you should grab the pistol. Because we're gonna go in. Now let's leave Jaken here. Now, the good thing about um, these walls here, you'll notice that all three indicators to the northwest are red. That means that if you stand here, you cannot fire here. But if you stand here, you can fire over on. Over, uh, come on. over this way, right? So that's important for um, for keeping an eye out. So if anyone comes out, they'll need to really walk up to here or some or something like that before they can fire, and that's a long way. But on the other hand, I left the door open, and that's not good. But it's fine. I think it's fine. Right, so we need to remember there's this guy here as well. Let's have Franconian take a look. Alright, so he stayed over on this side. Probably in the same space. Let's reload while we wait. So, since... since this side is clear. Oh no, it's not. Well, <sighs> I mean, I suppose we could wait him out, but I think Exe will need to move here to assist. I'll have this I'll have Franconian deal with this guy on his own. I think he can take him. Nobody can help anyway. So let's have Premu stand here. And let's bring J Ken. Too close? Nah, he can't reach us. Remain standing though, he'll probably need to pull back next turn. Alright, so now about this guy, how do we deal with him? I don't think it's safe to stand here and just close the door, but I do think it's safe to stand here. And I think we'll have enough move to move from here to here. Though I think I'll probably waste its reaction fire with the shield. That'll probably be best. We also need to inspect this area before we commit too heavily. Luckily, Finnish is nearby, and if there is something over here, he can kill it or suppress it. She, she can kill it or suppress it. Load. All clear. All right. Let's see if. Let's first check what happened over this way. So he either pulled back or has come closer. We can't really tell. 
but let's pull XC to here in either case. Alright, off you go. Okay, so he's still on that side, and let's have Horace's move to here. He's looking this way. How much would it cost you to get to here? Too much. He would not be able to open the door. Alright, so let's waste its reaction. It may not be really necessary, but... I mean, if we don't do it, we risk a great deal. Does anyone else have flashbacks? Forgiven HUD does. Llama Horse does as well. We could move in and flashbang it. Yeah, let's do that. Can we get back? No. Can we move forward? No. Well, the shield will have to cover him. Not enough to suppress it, but that's fine. Because as soon as we open fire... Ah, we killed it outright. That's, that's great. Alright, so we can't pull back. We need to check this area. Alright, looks clear at a glance. So let's just put Horaces here to cover Llama Horse. And... We can... Yeah, forgiven, it's just slow. It's fine, he has a good deal of HP. Getting killed is unlikely. Alright, so... We have this room here. This must be the room that's connected to this room. So the command room has two entrances, which is nice. Alright, let's have Finish move into this room and close the door. And or this side. Yeah, we already checked this side, right? Yeah. here. And we need Franconian back down here in order to secure this corridor. And I'm thinking, who should we put on this side? And on one hand, I'd really like to put Franconian here, but on the other hand, we really need uh, maybe I should put the shield down here instead. Yeah, I think... Nah, the shield is needed upstairs. I mean, up there. Yeah, Franconian moves down. We're nearly done. Yes. So there is someone in there. How do we deal with this? Go 
grenades? Nope. I don't think so. It's contained inside, but I'd really like to take control of this room so that we can push forward. I mean, we could run all the way back and... Let's have a look. Alright, there's an officer with a heavy rifle. Okay, so how do we do this? I suppose we could move Haresses inside first and see if it does anything. Given has a good deal of HP as well. Yeah, let's leave Haresis inside as bait. He should be fine. It's not using the teleporter. So maybe. Maybe we can have our men stand a bit closer. Move over to this side, so that wherever it comes out, your shield will cover you. And next turn, you'll be able to move against it. And we've seen that Llama Horse can also move in and burst fire if necessary. look it's just popping in and out I don't think it's really a risk still doesn't see us. We could just drop a grenade at it. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna position myself here. And then turn that way. Possibly coding it into this is 45 as well, right? Yeah, it's all 45. All right, let's just wait here and see if it fires. And the rest of the team, I'm hoping it'll distract it so that our guys can move in. to here 49 that's 12 that's all right that's 15 and one to possibly four to turn plus 80 to fire that's good and you can stay here have a look just in case yeah I don't think it's gonna do anything
Oh shit. It doesn't look like a soldier, I don't understand. I, don't, I really didn't expect this. Well, whatever. At least the shield is safe. Unfortunately, your shield won't protect you. Somewhat annoyed over this, but at least Horace has lived. Well, it's fortunate these are just the basic grenades. Alright, so we need to figure out how to deploy. I mean, I'd really like to kill this guy because he is pretty dangerous, but on the other hand, this corridor is also pretty dangerous, I mean, there could be something else over there. Alright, so how do we deal with this? Let's put Forgiven here. So the general idea is like this. I bust the door down with possibly the pistol, that would be ideal, and then the rifles and machine gun gun down everything inside. door. Two shots and if it doesn't break down we wait. Alright. Because the last thing we want to do is be without move and, there, and then something's over here, right? We want to have enough move to pull back and let the other guys do their thing. Alright, so we see one guy, he's turned away. I'm hoping the heavy rifle is here, good. Here, can you throw a flashbang? No, it's too deep inside. All right. Now the heavy rifle's weakness is, is its range, but we can't really exploit that as there's no room. It's all cl it's all close quarters. So... Wait... Alright, so how do we deal with this guy? We could start with a flashbang. What's your accuracy anyway? 60? Pretty good. Alright. Open with a flashbang. What am I doing? Alright, oh, I wanted to avoid... Yeah, I wanted to avoid heavy rifle fire. That's why I want a flashbang. It's fine. 
Alright, we need to kill it. Very good. And now we wait. There's nothing more we can do. Let's get closer. Nice, one shot. Alright, so let's have the shield have a look inside. Okay, so this is the last one. So, if you're in control of the command room, the entire map becomes visible. Alright, let's... Let's make sure we don't get killed here. It would be a real shame to die when there's just one enemy remaining. So you can pull back to here. He's pretty far off. How about here? I think he'll be able to suppress him from here. Let's bring our guys over. Alright, let's see what it does. Okay, so it's attempting to lay an ambush for us. What can we do? Well, we can waste its reaction and then just move in and kill it. So let's do that. Twenty-seven. So if we open the doors for Franconian, he'll also be able to open fire. I think pretty much everyone will be able to open fire. Alright. Two shots. Take the heat. Whoa. Maybe one shot is enough. The shield's really taking a pounding. Alright, get out of the way. Off you go. And we're done. Injured three days, injured six days, and everyone receives a citation for valor. 